What's going on everyone? It's Greg back with some more Mirror 4. And this video has been requested a lot. And not necessarily the video being requested, but people ask me this question over and over and over again. It's about the spirit treasures. Guys, I, I mean honest with you, you're probably not gonna like this video per se, but I'm gonna be real with you. And you know, the way I see it right now is I personally am not gearing toward PvP treasures until I have legendary spirits. Legendary spirits have the most slots on them. They're the ones that can be upgraded to have more slots. Until that point, I don't see real reason to have uh, spirits with PvP treasures because because most of the spirits have some other kind of utility that you're going to use them for. For example, real quick, just to prove it or just to make my point here, let's say you have um, Succubus, a Flame Hellborn Bioho, and this bad boy right here has a 15% XP gain. If I get this, I'm not going to put PvP treasures on it. I'm going to slap all the XP treasures I can put on it as I can. Because not only does it increase my damage, it's going to, you know, it's, it's just going to help with farming incredibly, you know, at all new levels. It has this AoE move that will pull a good, like, half of the room in Magic Square. I see this as a very good PvE pet, even though it's still a good PvP pet as well. Because you get, uh, like on the Arbalest, getting this crit, really any character, getting a crit and the crit damage boost is amazing. So don't get me wrong, like you would use this in PvP too. But I'm sorry, for you know 90% of the game, you need to level up, right? People getting levels on you, that's game over. I don't care what your power score is. Uh, unless you're like uh, Monkey and these other Korean streamers that have like really like heavily invested into some characters on SA73. You know, yeah, at level 60, they can go PK some level 70 to 80s. But even then, they die really fast, right? So, you got to keep in mind, like, there's really not too much you can do if you have too much of a level gap. You might be able to get some kills, but you're not going to have the survivability. And, you know, honestly, people will be able to take you out, like, real quick. So, that's why I say... It's not important to gear towards PvP treasures. And I know a lot of you are probably losing a lot of people at this point because you're mad because I'm not telling you which ones to use. Um, but that's just what it is. So let's talk about what I do actually do for PvP tre or not <laughs> for spirit treasures in general. So I go to my spirits and I got my different sets, right? One is this was kind of a, a boss that I was playing around with. Um, number two is, is my lucky and drop set. So, if I'm using all of these spirits, right now is my primary spirits for Lucky and Drop. What kind of treasures do you think I have on them? Lucky and Drop. Here we go. Double Drop Chance. I got my Epic Drop Chance on here. We got Drop Chance and Lucky on this one. I just got the Lucky Epic Treasure. So, I got Double Lucky on here and an Epic Drop Treasure on here as well. Yet, she's still good for my PvP. She's still good for uh, my main attacking set. But I'm not going to use the treasure space right now to put other treasures on her. I need to get the drops. I need good drops. That needs to be the primary focus at this point in time. Like, and again, of course, I am more PvP or PvE oriented. But still, even if I was interested in PvP, which I do enjoy some PvP. But even still, I'm not going to put the treasures on for like some slight little edge when these benefit me so much more in the long run. Because I'm getting better drops and things like that. Next up, I use this guy in my set. I think it's because I don't even know why I use it. I guess because I don't really have any other drop. Uh, yeah, I don't have any other drop spirit right now. So I have this guy because early on I stuck on these two treasures on him. So that's why I use him in my drop set. This one has a little bit of the lucky drop chance. And of course, I got the two blue treasures on him. So as you can see there, everyone in my drop set has these uh, drop or lucky treasures. Now, if I move on to my quote-unquote PvP set or my main damage set I have uh, this one's still gonna be have my main treasures on it for drop and lucky because that's her primary use case now this is one I probably could optimize a little bit I could probably throw on a PvP treasure or two but I haven't been too worried about it I honestly just have these green X HP I probably will switch this out now that I've looked at it I didn't even realize they were just green um I don't yeah, yeah, none of, none of them. I'll probably grab something out of my warehouse to throw on him. 
So I will probably change these. And these you can kind of play around with because I'm only using him in my PvE set or my, my damage set plus my PvP set. So I can put some kind of damage thing in there. I probably still focus on PvE, but you know, you could put some PvP in. If you have absolutely no other use for that spirit, then go ahead and do that. Um, he doesn't have anything except the, the instant evade, which I'm only going to be using that when I'm actively fighting. Now, my Reaper. Right now, my Reaper is a big lineup in my XP set. Um, so he has XP treasures, and I do have an HP treasure on there for the heck of it, since he is in my XP set, get a little extra HP. But that's just kind of the route, route I went right there. These will probably fluctuate as uh, depending on what spirits I get and how strong I get. Then um, Thunder Beast Baritone currently has a uh, drop or no HP treasure HP oops HP HP and um, XP because he does again float up into my XP set sometimes so I got one XP treasure on him and some HP because if I do bring him in I'm bringing him in for the survivability aspect. Then I got Whaley and Whaley's just kind of an oddball right now. Every now and then I use Whaley in the, H, in the XP set, but overall I'm um, really just kind of using it for some of these additional benefits of uh, the stun duration and silence duration and then uh, the success boost and then of course a little bit of boost to HP and things like that. Um, I might still flip Whaley in and out. I think I'm still kind of experimenting a bit with this set, you know, damaging. Um, it's just I, I, I got it for the extra MP and stuff like that. So, again, I didn't really focus on his uh, Whaley's treasures. These could definitely be adjusted right now. It's adjusted mainly for my power set, which, you know, power is most impacted by the HP and also highly impacted by MP. So that's why I have these treasures on here. I'll get into that in a second. Now, let me flip over to my XP set. As you can see, I had the Reaper, which I already talked about. Um, of course, you know, my straight XP spirits are going to have just XP treasures on them. Then right here. Same deal. Um, this we talked about Bariton earlier. I bring him in for survivability, so he does have the HP and then one XP treasure. Of course, the blue ones all have one blue treasure and one green XP treasure. I haven't gotten any red ones at this point. And then finally, we have Gem Glow Glowing Gem Sparkler. Again, only used really in XP. Uh, I do have the HP on there. Just having as much HP as possible when AFKing is is great. Use every little bit of HP you got is going to make your potions even better. Then finally, we have my power set, which obviously you just equip this for to have your highest power for the ranking, not really for anything in particular. It's just going to be, of course, going to give me the max HP because that's what boosting that stat the most. Um, but as you can see here, we got the Reaper, the Whaley, and uh, Flamehorn, Gem Sparkler, and Bariton. Um, and every now and then I flip him out for XP just depending on the situation so he does have XP treasure on him plus the HP ones HP ones are for the um, power score as you can see all these have some type of, some type of HP on them that's why they uh, they do kind of fit in the different decks but because they are in the power set you know I need the extra HP but like Reaper which I do use a lot in the XP set has the two XP treasures so that covers my treasures I don't think I have anything off the wall here. Oh, like this guy. I mean, at one point in time, I did put these treasures on here a long time ago. Uh, not when I was, I wasn't really knowing what I was doing. Um, and of course, you're gathering and stuff like that. If you have a set for that, I, I'm not big on that. But you can throw your gathering and mining treasures on those spirits. So as you can see, my treasures usually match the utility of the spirit. And that's what I mainly go for. Now, once we get into gold pets, we have four slots. We have a lot more options. And they are, of course, you're going to start putting in other stuff. And if we do start getting into PvP, kind of what I've been seeing um, the trend with the Koreans is um, a lot of debilitation, success, and resistance. Um, and I don't know about actual damage treasures. I have to watch more of the streams to kind of see what they're using. But... Um, once you are able to actually even upgrade these, you get more slots, so that that even has more possibilities. Um, but I do know I do see a lot of stress over uh, debilitation, success, and resistance. So that's about all I got for you guys. 
Uh, I know some of you probably didn't enjoy that too much. Um, we're looking for something a little more PvP oriented. But I'm sorry guys, it's just not me at this point in the game. Um, I do believe in having your treasures match the utility of the spirit. So that's what I go for and that's what I maximize and that's why you know I'm level 92 now. That is a big focus for me, trying to grind up and get those levels because at the end of the day, levels mean just about everything in this game. So definitely want to grind up and keep on grinding um, and that's what I'm going to do. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Turn those notifications on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.